he said no spoke about uh, in God since last year and then in January he spoke more about speaking into existence what you want. So I think um, the awakening brought it out more when we decided to when we decided to uh, do this and um, call in the nations. Because the nations are represented here. Togo, Ghana, call it, they're all here. And I thank God for today. Um, Mm -hmm. It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing to come yeah, be yeah, the glory. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate God. Before we go, before we round up uh, things, I want to especially appreciate everyone for making a time to come. When you didn't just come because of, you came because it's time for that shift in your mm -hmm. life. Yeah, it's time for an aligning in your life, and it's time for position. Yeah. Sometimes we're not positioned to be able to get things, we're not positioned to be able to align with things. Sometimes we just, we know we have it. Like she said, we need a mentoring. Not even mentoring me to sit before the Lord. Because you might go to the wrong mentoring, it's not True. it. Mm. Somebody has to be. Paul was sent to Ananias. Mm. It got to be Ananias in the world to release you into your place. True. When he was sent, when only him saw the light. Then he saw the light, he heard the voice, but only he knew what was taking him to. And then I said, but I cannot go to him. Don't you know who he is or what he has done? The Lord said to Ananias, I am sending you to him because I have That's right. what? a plan for him for at that know? time. Yeah. For him to be blind in that season. Mm -hmm. So most of us might be tapped into the season where, you know, February is a month of witnessing. Don't play religion, get the Bible, it's all clear, and bury yourself with the Holy Ghost. He that dwells in the secret place that by, Psalm 91, dwell and abide, dwell and abide, that you will hear for yourself, and you may take heed and run. Amen. You have to see and run. Or else you let me get stuck, you don't know when to run. And people are calling on you, come out of your boat, come out of your boat, in their sleep, because only you will be able to release that person. Amen. And if you're not out of the boat, you're better to cage yourself and the person that's following you. Yeah. And generations are said to lose. We've already waved to nations to bring forward what they carry, but are you ready to handle it? Right. Are you ready to handle right. it? That's right. what I preached, I think to you, uh, last month, or two months ago, I preached here concerning that. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're calling it for now, but are you ready when it comes? Because it's going to come. Jeremiah says, I hope when the legs are coming, the ones that are coming with horse will not weary you. Are you ready? Because they're going to come. <laughs> We've called them forth now and they are coming. Amen. So see them in the room, they are coming. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. Let's Lord. worship you, Lord. Yeah. Dr. Hunter will blow in the blood of shofar for the closing of the program. And he will close us up. But before he close us up, I want us to please um, join hands to pray with Hammer of God Healing Ministries or going somewhere as the Lord is releasing us into different dimensions. This is the third time we came out for intercessory prayer. And uh, uh, we thank you for this now. You know, it was so interesting as I looked at everybody, I was expecting general intercessors. You know what I'm saying? People who just come and just want to pray. Mm -hmm. But there was something God was confirming to me, to you, that God is calling you to assemble the generals yes. of prayers so that you can start hearing the same thing together. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the word I, I went on listening. The assembling generals, people mm -hmm. ready who are running ministries of prayer, mm -hmm. but you come as a body ministry, yeah. whereby you come out of your names, when you come even and gather like a day like this, you are coming to live to the Lord only, yes. not the name of your ministry. Yes. Because the kingdom of yes. God is, has nothing to do with your name. Yes. It's yes. only you bringing the portion of what you have to, so that there is a strong strength you, you know, draw from one another so that what God has spoken will be established. Amen. 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 As I shall declare that to so lift up our voice that we have the strength to run the race because they are coming. Amen. Coming with horses, they're coming and they're coming and they're coming to draw. They don't come to sit, they're coming to draw because everybody wants to tap and run. Everybody wants where they're seen. Do we see and run well so at the end of the day we might be told thank you. Well done, good and faithful servant. God, people Amen. are there to be released. Hallelujah. Amen. But those that travel far and near, like Apostle Atra came from Kansas, and my sister from San Antonio, as I said, I appreciate you for making that time. You came in here at 3 a.m. 
uh, to Dallas Zone because of this program. She said, I appreciate all of you. Wow. Stella, uh, Stella Grace that came in uh, from her trip. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And my dear friend, um, um, Damaris, thank you for coming. And Demoe Maureen, thank you so much. My dear sister, thank you. You connected. We're connected now physically. Mm -hmm. And my dear Pastor Betty, thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone. My former neighbor, I can call your names and everybody. Thank you, Sister Ruth. Thank you for coming. I know you. I know you by names, but I know God knows you and your needs and your needs. And I know He has met them. The Bible said concerning Jesus when He talked to the, uh, the leper, He said, "As you go to meet the priest, which is the Lord of all, the King of Kings, with yourself." He will minister to you more because you have drawn from the world today. Amen. It's not going to dry up. It's going to be refreshing. It's going to be all in back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So in one minute, just lift up a more of God healing ministry. But that Amen. assignment that the Lord has for this ministry, that we do it and will not be weary Amen. in well doing. We will not be weary. And sometimes it can be discouraging. You look at. But thank God for where he has trained us. And never look at what you're saying because I'm way beyond what I am because the angels have taken the world. If only one person stands here, God is taking his word to nations. And I would I believe God so much, I'm never worried about that. But strength, 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 strength. Paul said, pray for us. Pray for us that we will have the strength to run, the boldness to move. In the name of Jesus. I want to ask for that for the armor of God. And I'm standing and praying the armor of God and to many generations that are coming. The Lord will give us strength to run. He will give us strength. And we may hear him well. If the same God said, kill Isaac. The same God said, give Isaac a ring. He must hear the last order. That's what an army does. He must hear the last order. And hear the last order. So you don't mislead our people that are following you. Don't go to the dish. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. We give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank God for Dr. Hunter and the family. They have been very supportive. They have been my partners for three years now. I want to say, Lord, thank you for this one that you have given to, uh, to that saw something in the ministry and say, you know what, I call you and I'll follow. It's rare to see Paul, I follow you. He said, no, but if you saw more than what I saw in myself, and I was doing this, I was doing this MC thing when I met him and he has followed. And I said to say, thank you so much. Because of him, we're connected to this church and the pastor is not here. We're about for him to be apostle. Eta, who now gives us this place to use as free as we want. Amen. But we know that what it is in ministry. We're running the light. We still have to uh, do so a seed into this ministry. Amen. I want to say thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Hunter. Thank you so much for the privilege to have you and your family uh, being with me. And the moderator, thank you so much. Um, moderator, thank you so much for coming with your wife, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I call him moderator. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you, Betty. Dr. Belinda, it's nice connecting with you. I think God has brought us this for such a time like this for a reason. And we're going places in the name of Jesus. There are some members of this ministry that is here. Are you from here? Ma'am, are you here? No. Oh, you, you, you just, you came because you're back there. Praise God. Are you from here? Yes, you attend this church, Spoken Word. Thank you so much for coming. Are you from here? No, I'm not from here. I'm from McKinney. I came from McKinney. You came from McKinney. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. People drove because the word has come forth. But thank you for coming, though. God bless you greatly. And for this church, I lift up the voice of God upon this church. The Lord bless this church in the name of Jesus. And the who are waiting for you from here, the Lord's grace will multiply here. That whatever they think they are doing, they just say they're doing it out. The Lord will replenish the pocket and bless the head and the pastors of this ministry in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Smiley, I didn't forget you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the media thing you do. Thank you so much. Well, we are crowded people where you think we will not do the seed we sow. We don't wait until people are tired before you now commend them. We appreciate you sincerely. We appreciate you. God bless you.